system of sepia can be a little disheartening simply because it looks so complicated. Let's look at a simpler diagram of the sepia or cuttlefish. This is the lateral section of the nervous system. Still confusing? Let's look at a schematic diagram. The ganglia of the sepia is basically divided with respect to its position. The ones above the buccal cavity and the ones below. Similarly, the ones above the esophagus and the ones below. Above the buccal cavity, we have the superior buccal ganglion. Below, we have the inferior buccal ganglion. Above the esophagus, we have the supraesophageal ganglion, also called the cerebral ganglion. Below, we have the subesophageal ganglion, which is then divided into the brachial ganglion, the pedal ganglion, and the visceral ganglion. Today, we hope to expose the following. At the anterior end, we have the brachial nerves. We will be able to see the cerebral ganglion, the optic ganglion, the olfactory ganglion, the brachial, the branchial nerve, the stellate ganglion, the pallial nerve, the gastric ganglion. The technique for dissection and exposing the nervous system is similar to the one that we had used to expose the digestive system. That is, from the dorsal side, we remove the internal shell. Then, we cut the membranes starting from the anterior region, that is, the head. On cutting open the sepia, a couple of things are obvious. First, the brachial nerves, each going to one arm, that is, eight brachial nerves for the eight arms. If you open the mantle, on both sides, you will be able to see the stellate ganglion. The stellate ganglia have radiating arms, as is observed. You split open the mantle. Another structure that you can see is the pallial nerve, which joins the stellate ganglion and the inner mass of the mantle cavity. After observing the structures like the brachial nerves, the stellate ganglion, and the pallial nerve, we have to undergo a slightly tedious process of breaking open the cartilaginous cranium. After breaking open the cranial cartilage, we can observe the cerebral ganglion surrounded on two sides, on its two lateral sides, by the following. We have the optic ganglia on top and below those we have the olfactory ganglia. On tracing the path of the esophagus, we come across at the posterior end the gastric ganglia. We will also be able to see the branchial nerve which runs over the genitalia seen here. And finally, we are able to see the visceral nerves. These are some of the nerves and ganglia that we see in the nervous system of sepia.